Welcome to my channel, Metavog here, Francisco Metavog. I have been collecting art since my 20s. And this is one of my favorite artists. His name is Peter, Peter Gies. And these are some of his works. And this one right here from 2015 was a uh, special gift that he gave me on my birthday. I was going to do a story on him. I wanted I wanted to he doesn't have a lot of stories, too many stories out there of him and I was support him in his art is in many different types of galleries and coffee shops and bookstores and we've been friends for many 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 years and he has invited me to his studio and I'm gonna pause this video and then we're gonna well I was gonna say watch what happens we're almost near Peter, thanks for inviting me to your marvelous studio design. I can see this is really a studio. Yeah, studio it's apartment. so wonderful. Studio painting. I'm so, so I'm here with the artist Peter Guys. Guys. Guys, how come that how come how come it's hard to to um to say your, your name? Well, because the Germans pronounce it Geisa. Oh. But my great grandfather uh, softened it to guys, like G U Y S, guys, mm -hmm. uh, so that it would be easy to pronounce. And um, some of your art over here has some interesting frames. And I know, I don't know if this piece of art is old. How old is this? The one uh, right there. Two, uh, 2000. I can't see the days. It's on the bottom quarter. Cause and then the frame. Two thousand three, I and think. And the frame. Uh huh. The frame was done by your dad. Yeah, my my father made that for me. Wow. And then, um, when did you start? Did have you always done collage, or is the thing with the stamps a new thing? I uh, pretty much always done that. I, mm -hmm. I've been making abstract art since I was twelve, and. Um, adding uh, folk elements and outsider style elements. That one right there yes. uh, is um, the original of that is in the Athenaeum Museum. Or, or Athenaeum. Athenaeum in La Jolla. It's in their permanent collection. Oh, wow. This yeah. is great. Well, um, yeah, I've been in 87 shows in San Diego County. This is from 2006 and this, that also is your dad's frame. Yeah. So he made the frame? He made the frame. That yeah. frame, yeah. that design, oh, he carved it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. This, it's so, um, like 1950s, yeah. early 60s? Yeah. Wow. And then these are some of your posters right here. Yeah, I don't have many left. I got those two. Wow, those are great. And then you, do you sell these? This is signed? I do. That's signed. That's from... Uh, my one-man show at the Athenaeum. Oh, wow. So, obviously, you want to keep this one. And then that one is, um, I had a show at uh, Planet Ruth. I remember Design Planet House. Ruth. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, it's, um, now you're bringing me back to the past because on Ray Street, was that when you had the show or, or you're talking about Fifth Avenue in Hillcrest? Uh, which show? The Athenaeum? No, no. Uh, uh, Gustav Ruth. Oh, that was on Ray Street. Yeah. Ray Street, yeah. And I'm wondering if that's how I met you. And so that means that we actually go way, way, way back. Yeah. Because that was a long time ago. Like, let's say now two decades. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 20 years ago. Wow. Yeah. And then this is also another of your dad's frame. Yes. But when was this done? Is that the year uh, 2006? Yes. And did your dad... Um, ever saw your art? 
Oh, yeah. He did? He and my mom came to see my first one-man show at the Pacific Beach Library, curated by Mark Elliott Lugo. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the colors are ex beautiful, exquisite indeed. I know that this is not a lot of art because I see... I know that this is not a lot of art that you have because when you sell, this is not the, you don't take, these are permanent, these stay here, right? right? This is part so of my permanent you, collection, and most you, of them, yeah. But the, um, when you go out and sell, because I've seen you, um, and um, how, what, is this the one that you did today? Yeah, it's almost done. Oh my God, folks, this is amazing. Oh, oh, hello, hello, Marilyn Monroe. Elvis Presley, I was reading in your... Uh, but this is really good. This is really good. How much is this? That one uh, is going to be $80. $80. Yeah. I think this is a great work of art, a great piece, um, uh, affordable piece if you collect folk art. And... Um, Modernist and uh, outsider style as well. From all of these paintings, oops, from all of these paintings, I want to talk about this one over here at the end. Okay. That has, um, obviously something like this. Now we're going like, this is probably somebody who collects your art. They would probably have, they would probably want to buy this one because this, That's this. That's a good one, yeah. This is a really good one. It has, um, you know, like more, more vintage. Obviously, what this was made in the year 2010. Yeah, and I so, antiqued the um, collage. I put a, a, an amber wash over it Wow! to make it look antique, but it's not. It, some of the collage pieces are very old, but um, that one's one of my signature pieces. The one with the first one? Yeah, the shaman. With, with your dad's um, frame. Yeah. How many shaman. frames did your dad give you that you probably have? Uh, I don't know how many I have left, but I think he gave me a total of about 25. And some of them are... Some of them are sold. Oh, like that one right there on yeah. top, that's also yeah. from your father. Yeah. You know, I went to um, I went to this artist's house where his father painted in Paris in the 1950s. And he studied like, um, like his paintings were kind of like Vincent van Gogh-ish with um, the Jackson Pollock. But he lived in the Jackson Pollock era era oh, yeah. and um his frames were also done by his father hmm. and your father and his father i wonder if they ever met oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyways i don't i don't have the, the the artist name but um this is so great that you invited me to your house and i get to see some of your your works i know that that's not yours yeah. with the race with the um what do you call the ray a ray a stingray a stingray stingray and elvis that's a brett barrett piece he's living in green bay back in green bay wisconsin now and you're from michigan i'm from grand rapids michigan i wow. was born in milwaukee but i'm from grand rapids yeah peter i know that we have been friends for a long time and you don't know me but i've been to many many homes of artists since um since i was in school at the fashion institute of design and merchandising in the late 80s and the early 90s i used to hang out with t my teachers they all loved me the entire school all of my teachers uh were amazing artists as well i got to go to a lot of their homes and this place reminds me of their home uh -huh. and how they live your art is amazing and i is that your father yeah my dad and my mom can you believe it, folks? The tradition goes way back. You have the father, and then you have him with the frames that he did. Yeah. You weren't even born here. That's like 1944. That's 1945. 45, see? 45, yeah. See, I don't, you don't have to tell me. I yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways. They were married in 45. Wow. I was, I was born in 49. And this one has more work than some others. The, how long did this take? Uh... Probably um, about a week or so, yeah, working on it. That's really good. That's that's in 99, that 1999, so this is a 25-year-old uh, piece of... How much does, would this cost now? Uh, that's, like like I said, that's part of my permanent collection, so mm -hmm. that one would be quite expensive. But yes. I would say eight or 900 at least. 
Nice. Yeah. Well, I think there's going to have to be a part two because there's a lot of art over here. And um, I really just wanted to thank Peter for inviting me to his house. And um, below this video, you'll see links to his amazing um, profiles. And if you want to know more about him, please contact him on Facebook. I will also have the link to his um, Facebook if you want to do an interview on him or places where you can go and see his art here in San Diego, California. Thanks for stopping by and have a fabulous weekend ahead. Goodbye.